but I do get things into my DM saying, you were right. You were the only one that ever stood up to her. You called it from the beginning. And yeah. And I am surprised that it took people so long to kind of see who she is. You, you have to keep in mind, this is the girl that, because I told her not to say the C word, the first time I heard her say the C word, I was like, oh gosh, don't say that. I, that that's such a like ugly word to me. And you're, and I said, you're so pretty. Don't say that word. And holy cow, I was just, she, on her next little interview or whatever, she was like, that F and C, and I was, holy cow, why would she call me an F and C just because I said, don't say that. And I became enemy number one. And yeah, I saw, I saw the personality way, way back then, of what she was capable of. You did. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Well, as you watch this season, well, okay, let's go back for a second. Right. So you did work with her that season and you saw this. So, I mean, are you shocked then that this is now, you know, people are saying it's a fake divorce for hiding money, like all this stuff. Like, are, I guess, are, are, are you shocked? That's my question about all that's going on with Erica. I'm, I am not shocked about any of it. I'm not shocked about Tom. Like, I'm not shocked that to find out that he was pillaging victims money and living off of it doesn't surprise me. I'm not shocked that it's people think, think it's a sham divorce. Okay. I, I mean, I buy all of it because back then I would have said to you, and I think I did say to some people, I said, they're charlatans. They're charlatans. And he, he, I'm not saying that he wasn't a good attorney. I'm not, none, I'm not saying any of that, but he made his name with the Aaron Brockovich case. They made a movie out of it. It was a huge settlement. And then from that point on with that money, it was buying the next level of power you know, having these big parties where David Foster would come in and sing, or this one would come in and sing and opening up the best champagne and getting the smoking hot wife that's, you know, all done up to come out and blow smoke up people's asses. He did everything to elevate himself into the A-list crowd and he paid for all of it. Right. And he didn't, and he did talk about it. The night we were over there for dinner, there, I don't know if you remember, there was, um, a, a Dodger, a Giants fan. It was a baseball game. And some, one of the, the, there was a fight in the parking lot and he was the personal injury attorney for the guy that got horribly beaten up and was in a coma and everything. And they had just settled it. But, you know, to say that they didn't know or that Erica didn't know about the money and, and he, all the finances, it, we were in the house for no more than five minutes when he was telling us about, every penny he's made and all of the cases he's won and how much money he's made for people. And he was that guy that talked about all of the money. Did you wait, when did you go there for dinner? Like during the season you filmed? Yeah. Was it yeah, on yeah. camera? I don't even remember if it was yeah. on camera. And so why? So he would like brag about money and like, I got this and that he was one of those. Before we started, before we started, before we sat down to the dinner. Yeah. He talked about, and I don't know if we were mic'd or cameras were rolling then or not. I don't remember. It was, like a lifetime ago, but he did talk about the money. So how can Erica say she didn't know anything about finances? 